Hello and welcome back to the Reaper. So today we're in our F5E Tiger 2 and we're looking at laser guided bombs. So first of all as usual let's look at what controls we're going to use and it's just the weapon release button for releasing the bombs that's all we need. So if we look at pylons 2 and 6 bombs we can have the GBU 12. The GBU 12 is basically a glorified Mark 82 that's a 500 pound uh, dumb bomb with a far 250 pound warhead and attached to it is a laser guided seeker and controller so let's arm them up we can take four but we're just going to take two for ease of uh, flying request rearming okay so while that's arming up let's get them uh, set up so they're on pylons two and six now we're going to drop them one by one it will make us a bit unstable but we don't have to drop them both together so we're just going to go pylon two there we're going to get a master arm and turn it on you should really do this in the sky it's just easier to show you um, external source, we we're going to go to bomb and I'm going to arm the bomb with a nose fuse there, you can have nose or tail depending on how much penetration you want uh, and that's arming up of the bomb. Um, next let's talk a little bit about the theory of the bomb. So there she is, she's a skinny Mark 82 there with control fins at the back and a laser seeker head there. Now, uh, it's a laser guided bomb, but it doesn't fire the targeted laser itself. It's actually essentially a passive system that looks, scans for, and detects a laser that's fired from a third party. So that targeting laser could be fired from a targeting pod on like an A10C or a Harrier or a drone up in the sky, or it could be come from a JTAC equipped vehicle like a Humvee with a laser de designator. That targeted laser will be fired from the third party vehicle onto the target. It will bounce off of the target and scatter into the sky. And that scatter, I believe, is picked up by this sensor here, allowing this <clears throat> bomb to, um, uh, to track down to the target and detonate. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, I'm in the Grim Reaper's public server, which is where I like to go to do my tutorials because it's nice and friendly. Uh, we're going to hit the communications menu and we're going to hit other and we're going to hit uh, mission and we're going to hit air to ground and we're going to hit air to ground easy because I like easy mode. And what I've done is I've... I've spawned in this guy, a JTEC MR2 lasing a target, it's a T80 with laser code 1688 and there is his location MGRS and Northing Easting. So the main thing I took from that as well as the location is the laser code of 1688. So this will be searching for a certain laser code that we set. Uh, now we could have multiple lasers in the theater and each laser would be having a separate code. So this one is the default code of 1688. Now that means I've got to set my bombs here to that code. So what I'm going to do is press kneeboard, right shift and K. And you can see here we've got laser code. Now we have to set both of our bombs to the same laser code. And it shows here how to change it. So we've got 1688. If I wanted to change, I don't know, that 6 to something else, I would press right shift, right alt and 9. And you can see I can change it to whatever. Uh, you can't choose any number. There are certain amount, certain numbers that you can use uh, within laser codes. I don't actually know what they are, so I'll just let you find that out a hard way. So that's that. They're set up as 1688, so they're good to go essentially. Um, right, the next thing I'm going to do is get started and have a look at my map to try and find where this guy is. Right, we're just getting to the runway. Let me quickly look where our guy is. We're at Guadada. Our guy has randomly spawned here. He is a... Uh, MQ-1A drone uh, spotting a bunch of T-72. So let's get over there before Mr. Zach Azef kills them all. Go, go, go. Okay, now we're up. This is very different to normal type of dumb bombing. So dumb bombing, if you remember my tutorial, would dive down from about 5,000 feet and release at 1,500 feet. What we want to do with the laser guided bombs is much higher. We're going to travel in at about 15,000 feet, dive down about 10 to 20 degrees and drop them at about 10,000 feet with plenty of energy. So we're going to go and be going essentially as fast as we can, four to 500 knots. This gives the bombs the best chance they can of hitting the target, finding the laser. As long as they can find the laser, they'll be able to hit the target. So by dropping them for so high, it's going to give them lots of time to find that laser and giving them plenty of speed uh, will give them maximum range um, uh, to spot the 
maximum range to hit the target basically um, I'm not too I'm not interested in actually dropping them put a pinpoint on the target all I've got to do is drop them in the rough area of the target give them plenty of speed give them plenty of height and the guidance system should do the rest so I see the targets off the left you see there's some smoke there I believe that's one of my targets so I'm gonna go in our um, drone is um, blazing on 1688 as we discussed so we're diving from 15,000 now I'm not too worried about setting up the site with the manual depression I'm just gonna do it by eye definitely some stuff going on down there and I don't want to drop too soon and I don't want to drop too late so I just want to time it right just as it's hitting the bottom of my hug glass feels about right okay and I drop it there 10,000 bomb away now we've got to retrim out because uh, we're lopsided now, so let me just get that sorted. And then we're going to go and follow the bomb, and fingers crossed it tracks. And it appears to be tracking, and can we see a target down there? Yes! Boom! Got him! Okay, burner's on, let's get back up to Angels 15. We're going to deselect our bomb that we've dropped, reselect our left bomb. Yep, we're all good. Let's go around and try again. Okay, let's turn in. So our two major dangers when doing this is we either drop it too far away and it doesn't have the legs to get to the um, the target or we overdrop it, which is actually the, the bigger risk. If we drop it too late, it just simply won't be able to find the laser in time. So, I'm struggling to turn. Come on, baby. Overshot the altitude a bit, but it's okay. The more the merrier. Right, down we go. 10 to, uh, 10 to 20 degrees, roughly. Target in the middle of the HUD. Wait to Angel's 10. Wait till the target just touches the bottom of the HUD. Which is going to be about... And drop. Fingers crossed. She appears to be tracking. That is a dead BTR, so you can carry four of those, extremely proficient. All we've got to worry about is when to drop them, like I said. Other than that, pretty easy, can't go wrong. Um, can't think of anything else to say. I hope that helps, and I'll see you later.